I'm doing a series of common mistakes students make when they're building their own economic models. And the fourth mistake in the series is endogenous variables that should be exogenous. So here's an example of a model a student has built, at least hypothetically, that, that has this problem. So let's try to fix it. So we see that um, we have hours of piano practice. Perhaps this is kids practicing piano. And our objective function has parental history of piano playing. And, and, and of course it's mastery and opportunity cost as well. Now this one has the problem because when I think about it, that function is basically saying, okay, the hours of practice that the kid does is influencing the, the parent's history of piano playing. And that's not logically sound. The, the history of piano playing from the parents, that's already determined when the kid is born or when the kid is practicing. So this doesn't make sense. This one should be exogenous. Now this happens a lot when, um, for example, a student has read an article that's showing parental history of piano playing is highly correlated with the kid playing more piano. So um, you want this variable in the model, but this is not an appropriate way to put it in the model. You, it needs to be exogenous. So in which case you have to think about, well, what's the mechanism through which parental history of piano playing would influence a kid's, um, a kid's wanting to play the piano? And it might be something like this. So I've decided that I think the recognition that the kid gets from achievement depends not only on how many hours they practice, but on their parental history of piano playing. Because if the parent has a history of piano playing, they're going to pay more attention, they're going to give more praise, they're going to um, just be way happier about their child playing the piano. And it's that recognition that the kid craves, which increases when they play the piano. And of course, this function, the shape of that function is going to depend on the parent's history. So that's an exogenous variable. And of course, to think about that correlation that you're trying to build in, you know you want to draw a picture of this graph, graph of recognition as a function of hours playing the piano. And you know that when the parents have a history of playing the piano, that's going to rotate this graph up. It's going to lead to more recognition for every hour the child plays. And that will, of course, impact the child's decision about how much to practice the piano. So basically, you're going to do this little exercise here where you're thinking about does increasing piano practice influence that supposedly endogenous variable? And if not, the variable should be exogenous, and then you have to just think about how would I build that in as an exogenous variable?